In this video we're going to be looking at a specific example of um, an inequality problem that has occurred and turned up on an exam paper before. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. There's going to be a graphical method and an algebraic method. So what we want to do is express 5 is less than x is less than 9 in the form of mod x minus a is less than b, where a and b are to be determined. So we want to write this in terms of this. Okay, so first of all, let's see the graphical approach. So what I would do is I would sketch mod of x minus a. So taking a to be positive, I'd be looking at something like this. So that's a. And then, if I'm looking at when x is between 5 and 9, then I must be looking at a line here, so y is b, where that point is 5 and that point is 9. So the a value must be halfway between 5 and 9, so a must be 7. Now if you look at this equation, or the inequality here, we can see that the number in front of the x is 1. So the gradient of this line is 1. So that means that you go 1 along and 1 up. But if I'm going 2 along from 7 to 9, I must be going 2 up. So that must mean that b is 2. And so we must be having x minus 7 is less than 2. And that is in the format that we wanted. So that's the graphical approach. I quite like that approach, but some of you might prefer an algebraic way. So what we want to do is to notice that this can be written in the format of minus b is less than x minus a is less than b. Okay. So the reason why that is, is that if I'm saying that x minus a modulus is less than b, then that means that whatever value that goes in here must be positive. So if I'm looking at minus b, for example, and I turned this into an equality, then if x minus a was equal to minus b, then modulus of minus b is just b. And so it takes care, takes care of the negative side as well. So we can go from this inequality to this one. And what we can then do is add a to both sides, like so. And it adds a to all three sections, if you will. And now we want to compare this with what we were originally given. So that must mean that a minus b is the 5. And the a plus b is the 9. This gives us a pair of very simple simultaneous equations. If you add them together, we get 2a, the b's cancel, is equal to 14. So a is 7. Substitute that into one of these two equations, and we get b is 2. So we get it in exactly the same format as required. X minus 7, X minus A is less than B, which was 2. 